What's up toy fans? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jesse, and I'm so excited about today's video because it is giving us all of the Nickelodeon 90s nostalgia and I grew up in the 90s and so I love the different Nickelodeon cartoons from back in the day. And this is exactly what these mystery minis from Funko are all about. So guys, why don't we go ahead and get right into it? Let's open this full case. It's mystery time. Okay guys, so we're gonna try to keep these in order just like we do with all of our Funko Mystery Minis full cases. So I'm gonna start with the top right. So the top right is gonna go on the top, then it's gonna be top left, then it's gonna be bottom right, then it's gonna be bottom left, okay? So that's how the uh, stand is gonna show you what is in here just in case you see these and want to try to find the one that we are opening. So let's take a peek and see who we can get. So here is the box itself. It says Nickelodeon Mystery Minis, one vinyl figure. And then it's got lots of different characters and then more characters there. So let's see who we can get. We've got Stimpy, who is a one in six. Arnold from Hey Arnold, who is a one in 12. Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life, who is a 1 in 12. We've got Daggett from Angry Beavers, who's a 1 in 72. We have Cat Dog, who is a 1 in 36. Eliza Thornberry, which is a 1 in 24. We've got Ren, who is a 1 in 6. And then we have Tommy Pickles, who is a 1 in 6. We've got Norbert, who is a 1 in 72. We have Chucky, who is a one in six. Oblina from Ah Real Monsters, who is a one in 56. And finally, Nigel from the Wild Thornberries, who is a one in 24. So as we've seen in other uh, Funko mystery minis, we definitely will be getting some duplicates. So just be aware of that. Usually the one in sixes we get a couple of. So why don't we go ahead and see what's in the first box, guys? So this is the top right towards the front. Oh, this one's kind of big. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see who we got. Oh, wow. Okay, so we started. Wow, this is wild. <laughs> no pun intended, right? So we have, oh my goodness, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we have Nigel Thornberry. I mean, look at these eyeballs <laughs> and that profile. My gosh, this is amazing. So here's Nigel Thornberry. He's got very bugged out, excited eyes. Look at his epic mustache, his, his beautiful buck teeth. Look at his hair. It's very, very spiky and very hard, which is really fun. He's got his ears protruding. He looks like he's about ready to walk or maybe like sing into an invisible microphone. I'm not 100% sure. He's got his safari outfit on. So we've got this really cool jacket with lots of like cargo pockets and then these tiny little short shorts and some hiking boots. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not expect to start with a one in 24. So that was really lucky on our part. Top right middle. Let's see who we have. Oh wow, we got a Blina. Oh my gosh, we have like the luckiest box. So she is a one in 56, guys. Oh my gosh, what an amazing unboxing so far. Okay, if you guys haven't seen Ariel Monsters, it's such a cute cartoon. Ablina is basically this like worm-like creature with these really big eyeballs and humongous mouth. She is such a fun character. She's holding a book. And then she's got these like giant eyelashes. And then also she's got some little hair on the top of her head. And then on the back of her tail, she also has some hair. Oh my gosh, how cool is she? She reminds me so much of like a Tim Burton style of character. Like, wouldn't you see her in like Nightmare Before Christmas or something along those lines? This was one of my favorite TV shows growing up. <laughs> wow. We got a one in 24 and a one in 56 out the gate. 
That is insanity. Let's move on to box number three. I would love to know down below which Nickelodeon show you really enjoy. Also, I was a little bit sad that Doug wasn't in here because I loved the show Doug. That was one of my most favorite shows growing up. But I'm also such a big fan of Angry Beavers and also Rugrats. Well, Honestly, all of these shows were so, so good and like the epitome of my childhood. So next, who do we, <gasps> stop. Oh my gosh, no, <gasps> we have Daggett. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My, okay, so fun fact, my husband is deeply obsessed with Angry Beavers. It has always been his favorite show and I am so excited to give this to him later. So here is Daggett, he looks so angry. <laughs> And then he's got these really fun teeth. Look at these big teeth in the center. You can see all of his little toes and all of his little fingers. Oh my gosh, this is just too fun. He's got a really cute beaver tail. Oh my gosh, I might have to uh, watch some angry beavers today. Oh guys, that was a one in 72. I can't explain to you how lucky we got with this box already. I like, I'm not trying to jinx us, but this is pretty impressive. Okay, so we're starting on the left side now. So the left front, let's see who we have. Okay, we have, oh look, it's Eliza. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, we have Eliza Thornberry. So Eliza Thornberry looks so adorable. So she's got these glasses on that make her eyes look really large, which is super cute. She's got braces and she's also holding some really fun uh, binoculars. And she's wearing just a like t-shirt dress that's got pockets on the front. And she's got her hair in these really fun braided pigtails. I love the details of this because you can actually see how far back her, uh, the earpieces on her glasses go around her face. Oh, she's so cute. Something that I will mention is like, so her eyes are here um, and she's wearing glasses, but if you look at the figurine in itself, you can't see like where her eyes are on the figurine, if that makes sense. So it looks a little bit strange <laughs> if you're looking at it from an angle, but she's so cute. She's wearing hiking boots. Oh man, so she is a one in 24. All right, let's see who is next. I'm surprised we haven't gotten any one in sixes yet. I wish I could have got this lucky with the Stitch figurines. Oh my gosh, that Lilo and Stitch unboxings. Whoo, that was rough. All right, let's see who we have next. No way. Oh, no way, you guys, we got Norbert. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. How? How did we get two 1 in 72s? Like, how did this happen? I'm... I mean, I got this right from Funko, so I mean, it's like... <laughs> just feel like I got so incredibly lucky. How did this happen? <gasps> this figurine is so cool. So we have Norbert. Norbert has a purple nose. I love him. He's like kind of the laid back guy where Daggett's like really intense, right? So he's just like the chill, fun one, really. And he's got these like half opened eyes. He's got his giant buck teeth. And then I just love their little toes and also fingers. But look at his epic hair. Dang, he's got like Yu-Gi-Oh vibes going on. <laughs> and then there is his big paddle tail. <gasps> I'm floored. Two one in 72s, one one in 56. This is wacky. This is wacky. Okay, th woo, this one is very light. All right, let's see who we got. My guess is gonna be a small character. Sometimes these Funko Mystery Minis kind of stink. These are a little bit stinky. They're very um plastic plasticky smelling. All right, let's see who we have. Oh, it's Rocco, it's Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, he's so cute. So Rocco is a one in 12, so here is Rocco. <laughs> Rocco, for those of you who don't know, is a kangaroo. So Rocco's a kangaroo, he's wearing a really fun uh, triangle top. He's got really cute orange sneakers on. He looks uh, very surprised. 
<laughs> and then there is his kangaroo tail kind of hanging out behind him. I love how they did these figurines. Like these definitely look um, just like the characters. And also I just love how you can like turn them in different ways and see like all of these really detailed things about them that you wouldn't necessarily get to see because they were like, you know, a two dimensional cartoon. So it's really fun to kind of like quote unquote see them in real life. Now I have to say, this is probably the best Funko unboxing. Just if we stopped here, it's the best Funko unboxing we've ever done over here on the channel. And if you're interested in seeing the other Funko unboxings, I will leave them down below. Um, but this has been so lucky. So bottom right in the front. Oh, my box is falling apart. Okay, Let's see who we have. Also, are there any um, Funko Mystery Minis that you would like me to see open on the channel? Because I definitely would love to know so I can make sure to get those open for you. I always love taking requests over here on the channel. I love doing um, unboxings that you guys want to see. Okay, who's next? Oh, we have Hey Arnold. Oh my gosh, another show that I just love. We have the football head himself. We have Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold is wearing, um, Arnold is wearing a really fun little baseball cap that kind of parts his giant hair. Um, he's known in his series for having a football head, which is totally me but that's what he's known as and then he's got a really fun like rounded nose check the back of his hair out <laughs> he's wearing a flannel shirt with a sweater over the top jeans and a really fun black sneakers and I love his little side smirk oh my gosh so Arnold is a 1 in 12 moving on to the bottom right middle Oh, we have Tommy Pickles! <laughs> oh, Rugrats. I think Rugrats was probably my ultimate most favorite show growing up. So we have Tommy Pickles. Tommy Pickles is holding his screwdriver. And that's the screwdriver he uses to get out of his baby gate. And he's got a little diaper on. He's got a midriff blue shirt, which is he's kind of known for. And then he's got really cute little like peppered hair on his top of his head. And he's got his little hand outstretched behind him. We can do a little boop, boop. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. He's probably going to get into some mischief with Chucky or with Phil and Lil. Uh, Tommy Pickles is a one in six. So let's move on to the bottom right back. Okay, let's see who we've got. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, we've got Stimpy. Look at how silly Stimpy looks. Oh my gosh. He has his tongue sticking out of the side of his mouth and he's got his little hands outstretched. But look, you can actually see his little fingernails. <laughs> his nostrils are flared. He is the cutest red cat around. Oh my gosh, let's see. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this might be the best figurine ever. He's got his little butt crack. <laughs> Which was always very prominent in this series. Oh my gosh, I love this. He is a one in six. I'm dying. I <laughs> can't believe they put his butt crack. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think I said it, but he's a one in six just in case I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start with our last row. This is gonna be left bottom forward, the most front. I front is the word, not forward. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so flabbergasted by his butt crack. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, this one's big. Okay, we have another. Oh, this one's really big. Okay, let's see who we've got. Bird shaped. Oh, that's because it's cat dog. Oh my goodness. The, oh my gosh, I'm dying. These figurines are so cool. Okay, so we have Cat Dog. Cat Dog is a cat slash dog. So Cat is on one side looking very, very annoyed, right? <laughs> With like his hand on his chin, like really, really. And then there are little dots. There are little spots all over both of them, which is super cute. And then you have Dog over here being kind of, um, kind of uh, aloof. <laughs> maybe is a good term or being kind of silly. 
He's got his tongue out of his mouth and a purple bulbous nose. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool figurine. No, this figurine is, it's actually larger than Hey Arnold's head and Arnold's head is a very large, so <laughs> no wonder it felt so big in the packaging. This is a one in 36. I just don't know how I can get as lucky as I've gotten. Um, this is amazing. Okay, let's see who we have next. Ooh, this one's stinky. Oh, it's Chucky. Oh my gosh, it's Chucky Finster. Oh, he's so cute, guys. So here's Chucky. Chucky's got crazy orange hair. He's definitely known for that. Oh my gosh, look at his hair. <laughs> he's got big purple glasses. He's got little freckles on his cheeks. He's wearing his Saturn shirt, which he wears in every episode. He's got little green shorts on, cute red sneakers. Oh, he's precious. His paint job isn't the best, um, like on his lower half. There's definitely some paint kind of around the bottom, but man, is he precious. <gasps> oh my gosh. He is a one in six, guys. So we've got, how have we not <laughs> gotten a duplicate? Oh no, did I just like ruin it for us? All right, let's move on to the next and see who we've got. Oh, it looks like the only one that we have left is to get is Ren. So it must be that they just included all of them in this series. How did this happen? <laughs> this one is really light too. So I'm assuming it's Ren. Let's see. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We have the crazy chihuahua himself crazed. Um, he's got pink eyes. You can see his little belly button, which is so funny. And then there is his pink ears. He's got some little um, freckles and also some hair on his head. His lips are hanging down. And then here is his little body. He does not have a tail. And then his hands are kind of held behind him. But guys, we got a full set that is so amazing. How fun is that? Um, I would love to know which one of these figurines is your favorite. Please let me know down below. Also, I would love to know your favorite Nickelodeon show. So for today's pick, I have got to give it to Stimpy. I mean, goodness sakes. Can we talk about Stimpy, but mainly Stimpy's butt crack? Like, Stimpy is everything. I am dying. Like, what a cute, cute character. I love him. And then I have to give it to my one of my most favorites Norbert and also Daggett and Norbert because wow are they just too fun I'm definitely going to be displaying them in my living room thank you guys so so much for being here if you ever have any requests please let me know down in the comments down below and thank you again so so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next video in the meantime stay fantastic